One of the good things for men is that they're generally just as fertile at 24 years old. Um, for the woman, on the other hand, age is a huge, huge influence because... When you get to be about 40, it starts to diminish somewhat. Not, no, it doesn't start at 40. This is one of the, one of the things in that really from the mid-20s to even early what? 30s, really? the female's fertility starts to decline. Hmm. And there is a dramatic decline after 35. And if you look at these stats at 35 and 40, the chance of getting pregnant at 40 is half what it was at 35. I mean, the graph is like this. Mm -hmm. um, and certainly as you get into the early 40s, very, very quickly, you will find that fertility basically disappears, unless we're certainly um, using more aggressive types of treatment. Mm -hmm. um, and and the, basically the kernel of understanding of this is that unlike the male who makes sperm freshly throughout his life, mm -hmm. um, the female is born with all of her gametes or her eggs. Right. So she finishes the development of an egg, but that egg was in fact actually made at the time of her conception. Hmm. And, and that's actually the difference. And, you know, cell biology has moved on dramatically, and we now understand that possibly the reason for this is really centers around the, the internal aspects of cell division and things called spindles and telomeres. Mm. And that's why that, yes, fertility eventually for the female will disappear. Mm. Um, and for us, the challenge is sometimes that that can occur at a younger age. So about 1% of ladies will go into premature menopause, for example, before the age of 40. Mm. A precursor to that condition is where the patient will have reduced ovarian reserve and isn't producing as many eggs. And I think that one of the challenges is that there are no outward signs of that until really you're almost at the point of menopause when the periods perhaps start to, to change. Mm. Um, so that's what, one of the things that tests will hopefully evaluate, to look at ovarian reserve, is it normal? And, and you know, I think really what we hope in that evaluation is to see, to be able to pick out the patients that we say, look, this lady is actually on a, a little bit more of an escalated um, path towards, you know, where fertility will disappear. Mm. And, you know, and, and to, to certainly manage that couple a little bit more aggressively to, to make sure that they have their family in the time window that they need to have their family. Mm -hmm.